Hi, this is episode one, day one of the 49 Day Great Root Race. And in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to all the equipment and all the products we'll be testing. Then we'll mix some pH adjusted Ultimate RO water and then water everything with some Clonex solution. And since the theme of this episode is promises and temptations, we're going to talk about the promises the manufacturers make. So keep watching and maybe you'll learn something. I hope I do. And this is a seven week, five video series where we grow basil from seed. That way we can test and compare the products I sell in my hydro store. And so we can finally, once and for all, figure out not only what works best, but how best to use the products. And while later in the video, we'll be mixing nutrients, watering, feeding, and comparing plant growth. For now, let's start with an introduction. Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is my hydro store, where I get to meet lots of growers and listen to their stories, which is exactly how I wrote my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide, because for years now, I've been collecting and writing down all the questions my customers ask. And if at any time during this video, you want to find your closest hydro store, or where you can buy my book, or any of the other products you see in this video, just click the opportunity button when it pops up or go to everyhydrostore.com. And now that you know that, let me introduce you to the equipment we're using. To start with, we're in two by four by seven Gorilla tents. And don't tell Gorilla, but I had to do a little scissor modification in a couple of places because their top lid is so tall. And they do that because it adds a lot of structural stability to the tent. And we all know Gorilla makes the toughest tents with the thickest materials. But it did get in the way of the video. So I did a little customizing. And then these wire shelves are just your typical wire hardware store shelves. And the distance between them is the same in this tent and in this tent. And Nickel City lights the project as always. And this time, we're using their four foot, four bulb bad boy T5 lights. And for the first couple of weeks, only two bulbs will be on. And then when the starts are bigger, we'll reevaluate and increase as necessary. Below the lights and keeping the starts warm and humid and comfortable are Mondi humidity domes with Mondi hygrometers, which will help us monitor the conditions inside the dome. And of course, the domes are resting on Mondi Premium white trays with 50 count Root Riot starter plugs in each. And the Great Root Race is just the first in the series. And when we finish it, we're going to transplant our starts into smart pots and grow them out. And while we do that, we're going to be testing other products like jellyfish and mycorrhizae from Great White and growth and growth booster products like Green Fuse and Roots by Humboldt Nutrient, Green Pad CO2 generators, and other products. We'll also be testing different light setups. For instance, we're going to test stationary kind LEDs versus kind LEDs on light movers. And we're going to mix and test and compare different nutrients under the Nickel City Bad Boy T5 lights like these and other fun stuff like that. Of course, Humboldt Nutrients will be our baseline nutrients because I like them. My customers like them and they're inexpensive and easy to use and they have everything you need to grow great plants. And finally, after we grow the basil plants, we're gonna take cuttings from them and test rooting products in the turbo clone machines and under the Monty humidity domes with Root Riot starter plugs. Only this time, we'll be testing the products on cuttings instead of seeds. And then we'll compare and measure those results, just like we did for the first Great Root Race. Okay, I know that was a lot, and it sounds ambitious, but we got this. Now, let's go over the rules. Okay, there are only three rules for the event. Rule number one, we only feed with this stuff three times throughout the entire competition. Week two, day 14, week four, day 28, and week six day 42, and any and all other necessary waterings will be done with pH adjusted 6.0 Ultimate RO water tested with a 3-in-1 megameter. 
Rule number two. For right now, there are only two bulbs on because four bulbs would be too much for our little seedlings. But soon as the starts are ready for it, probably around week four, episode six, we'll turn the other two bulbs on. And finally, rule number three. These are my results. Yours might differ. Just saying. Now, let me introduce you to the trays. This is tray number one. It's one of the three control trays and it gets nothing but pH balance 6.0 ultimate RO water. Now, tray number two is a control tray two, but this only gets Clonex solution. And finally, control tray three just gets Mycochum from Great White. Now, everything else gets Clonex solution plus one of these products. And in tray four, we're testing Great White microbes. And in tray five, it's Great White microbes plus their Mycochum. In tray six, we're testing Orca, the hydro version of their great white powder. And in tray seven, we're testing Orca with Mycochum. In tray eight, we're adding roots from Humboldt. And in tray nine, we're testing Green Fuse rooting hormone. Tray 10 is of course the green pad tray. And finally trays 11 and 12 are the mystery trays. And I'm not even willing to tell you what I'm testing in them until the last episode but you're gonna to wanna to know what's in them. Okay, let's take a break here and talk about Clonex, one of the sponsors of the Great Root Race. Yes, Clonex is sponsoring the Great Root Race. And yes, Clonex provides me with the product I need to run it, but I just wanna be clear. I reached out to them with the idea and I asked them for the sponsorship. And the reason I picked Clonex products and especially Clonex Solution is because this stuff is the number one selling clone food in my store. In fact, you can add up all the other cloning products we sell. And Clonex still outsells them all, 10 to one. And that's important to know because cloning seems to be the number one problem new growers have. But that's why my customers swear by this stuff. The NPK numbers are real low at 1.61. So it's hard to overfeed. Plus, it has everything seedlings and cuttings need. B1, thiamine, and all the micros, and more. And it's not just the Clonex solution either, because Clonex specializes in clones. They make everything you need to start clones and seeds. Clonex mist prepares your mother plants the week before you take cuttings. Clonex rooting gel is the number one rooting product on the market. And after you dip your cuttings into it, they go right into their Root Riot starter plugs which of course will be fed with Clonex Solution. Like I said, Clonex has everything you need for clones and seeds. Clonex has everything you need from start to finish. Okay, let's pH some Ultimate RO water now. So the first thing to do is set the pH in all the trays so we know everything is starting from the exact same point. And this is an unnecessary step when you're growing at home because this would happen automatically when you water with Clonex solution for the very first time. I have to do this because control tray number one is never going to get that first Clonex solution feeding. And while Root Riot starter plugs come ready to use for the great root race, I'm trying to be as scientific as possible about this. And because tray number one will never get that first Clonex solution feeding, everything must get what this control tray gets, and that's one, pH balance, ultimate RO watering. That way we can be sure everything starts off the same. Seriously, the internet is brutal, and it's a dangerous animal if it catches you slipping. Okay, this is some ultimate RO water, and this is some pH up and down solution from GH. So let's test the water first with the Growboss Megameter and the PPMs are 30, perfect, and the pH is 6.7, so we want to lower it a little. And while I always tell you anywhere from five to seven is fine, for this series, I am always going to try for a pH of 6.0 for no reason other than it's right in between. So let's add a few mils of pH down, stir, and test again. And we're at 6.1, which is close enough and while one gallon isn't enough to water all of these Root Riot starter plugs, 
and while I actually make enough water to water all of these Root Riot starter plugs, now would be a great time to slip in a quick disclaimer. Okay, this is Clonex Solution. It's like baby food for your plants. It's got everything they need in there, including all the micros and B1 and thiamine, and it says to mix five to 10 mils per gallon. So I'm gonna use five mils and stir. Looks good. Before I water with it though, let's put the basil seeds and the starter plugs. So the watering will help sink them deeper into those little holes so they can anchor better at the bottom. And I didn't put the seeds in there before we added the pH water because I used a lot of water to soak the plugs initially. And I didn't want the seeds to float out of there. That's also why I mixed more pH water and only a little of the Clonex solution food because we only need to inoculate the plugs now because they're already wet from the pH solution. And you don't have to worry about the seeds going too far down into the Root Riot starter plugs. Starts always find their way to the surface. That's what they do. That's their job. And while we're planting the seeds and inoculating all the trays with Clonex Solution baby food, let's finish up today's lesson, Promises and Temptation. The truth is, I tried this experiment before and it did not turn out very well. In fact, by week four, 550 seedlings in 11 trays were dead. In fact, everything died, except for the seeds in the Clonex solution tray. And yes, Clonex was mad because we had to stop production. They didn't even care that the only tray to survive was theirs. And what that taught me was that even though hormones and enzymes and all these other additives are great tricks, they don't work without the basics, without food. It also reminded me that no one thing is more important than any other thing in this process. Everything has to go right for this to turn out right, right? So this time around, everything gets Clonex solution plus whatever product we're testing, which is why we're doing the control trays. So we can separate the Clonex solution results from the product results. Okay, let's get back to the great root race now. Before you even say it, I already know. Rule number one said we'd only be feeding weeks two, four, and six, grow boss. But remember, Clonex Solution is not the product we're testing. It's only the food that keeps the project going. The products we're actually testing are Green Fuse, Roots by Humboldt Nutrient, right? Great White, Orca, and Green Pad. Now, all that will be added in episode two. But for now, let's start watering with the Clonex solution. What, you thought we'd be adding all this stuff today? That we would actually be mixing and using it all today? When we just planted the seeds? No, no. That's not how growing actually works. That may be what you think, or what you want to do, or what your internet research led you to believe you should do. But that's why this episode is called Promises and Temptations. Because you need to learn the difference between the tempting promises the manufacturers make and the shocking reality of actually using them. See, in the real world, there is nothing that's going to speed up the harvest or transport you off this rock. All you can really do is not kill your shit for 12 weeks, then harvest. And when you're good enough to do that, all the products that you read about still won't live up to their advertising hype, but they will increase the plant's performance to some degree. For instance, in this video, we're testing root boosters, which means they only work when there are roots. Some are hormone triggers, some are enzymes, and there are nutrient-based triggers too. And while the microbes may work differently from Great White, they're all designed to boost root growth. But again, they can only exert their action when there are roots for them to exert their action upon. And the same thing is true for rooting gels, like Clonex rooting gel, which is exactly why Clonex rooting gel is perfect for cuttings, but not for seeds. And that's because the trigger that's in Clonex rooting gel only works on cuttings which is exactly why we're not testing it in the first 
root race because in the first round we're starting from seed and that's what this episode's lesson is about the lessons we've learned because i know all of you want to blow your shit up and grow the best bud possible and as fast as possible and you want to use all the stuff you bought right now i totally understand that but that's not how cannabis grows and that's not how this works because even when you do this just right plant count is based on veg time and flowering is based on the strain and there's no changing that and i know you're excited to start your new project and you want everything to happen right now right but i can assure you there is nothing you can do but wait so i'll make you this promise i know in the beginning your tent or your garden seems sad and empty and that you're just throwing light at the floor and money at the electric company. But I promise, if you do what I say and you don't overwater and you don't overfeed and you don't put the light too close, basically, if you just leave the plants the fuck alone like I'm always telling you and you don't kill them, 49 days from now, we're gonna have some seeds that are busting out of these root riot starter plugs and ready to be transplanted into something bigger like the smart pots and put under more light and then 60 days after that i promise your garden will be so full of plants they'll be spilling out the sides of your tent unless you can't resist the temptation and you buy into the promises and use all of this stuff and you overwater and you overfeed and you put the light too close and if you can't resist and you do all that just know we've all been there brother and we all understand. And when you're ready to settle down and grow some great cannabis, I, we, will all still be here for you. Okay, let's go over next week's show before we end this one. And while I'm waiting until episode two, week two, day 14, before we start feeding with all this stuff, for now, I want you to remember, there is no one week that's any more important than any other and if you want to grow those killer buds everything has to go right from day number one and that's why the next episode is called root booster versus root buster before we end the show here's a couple of words for the sponsors when you go shopping don't forget to get gorilla tents if you want the most hardcore heavy duty tents on the market and Mondi humidity domes for the perfect environment so you can start the perfect clones and when it comes time to feed those clones you're going to want to do that with Clonex solution the perfect food for your perfect little cuttings and of course all these little seedlings are being supplied fresh co2 from green pad junior co2 generators the perfect co2 for your perfect clones and don't forget to buy great white microbes for explosive root growth finally something that keeps its promise great white microbes really does blow your shit up and don't forget all this growth is happening under nickel city bad boy four foot four bulb t5 lights okay thanks for watching i'm the grow boss and if you like this video subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions between now and then, you can always schedule a consult with me by clicking here. Trust me, I know how much you've spent and how much time you have invested in this. And I promise, I can fix your garden in about an hour. So call me before you quit.